<laughs> Tale of the Giant Anaconda Webster's Dictionary states that an anaconda is a tropical snake that reaches about 30 feet in length and crushes its victims. This is the accepted scientist's view, except for the crushing part, anacondas suffocate their prey. However, natives tell tales of a creature called the succuro, a giant monster resembling a snake but much larger. These are the tales that form the enigma of succuro gigante, the giant anaconda of South America. When the Pope gave part of South America to Spain and the other to Portugal in the Treaty of Tordesilla, the Spaniards explored this great continent of tropical forests. They came back with stories of enormous snakes, which they called Matora, or bull eaters. Some reports detail them reaching over 80 feet in length. Colonel Percy Fawcett, who was sent to map out parts of the Amazon, claimed to have bagged a 62-foot-long anaconda. As an officer of the Royal Engineers, he was to write down his information meticulously. As he stated it in his diary. I sprang for my rifle as the creature began to make its way up the bank and smashed a.44 bullets into its spine. At once, there was a flurry of foam and several heavy thumps against the boat's keel, shaking us as though we had run into a snag. We stepped ashore and approached the creature with caution. As far as it was possible to measure, a total length of 45 feet lay in the water and 17 feet lay in the water, making a total length of 62 feet. Its body was not thick, not more than 12 inches in diameter, but it had probably been long without food. In 1925, Father Victor Hines saw one of these snakes, most likely the anaconda, while on the Rio Negro of the Amazon River. He said that the visible portion was at least 80 feet long, and the body was as thick as an oil drum. It was throwing up a wake as large as a river. Bernard Way Veilmans, the father of cryptozoology, records an encounter with an anaconda with a group of Frenchmen and Brazilians. We saw the snake asleep in a large patch of grass. We immediately opened fire on it. It tried to make us all go into convulsions, but we caught up with it and finished it off. Only then did we realize how enormous it was, when we walked around the whole length of its body, it seemed like it would never end. What struck me was its enormous head, a triangle about 24 inches by 20 inches. We had no instruments to measure the beast, but we took an arm's length of string and measured it about 1 meter by placing it on a man's shoulder and extending it to his fingertips. We measured the snake several times, and each time we got a length of 25 strings. The creature was well over 23 meters, 75 feet, long. Scientists never regard eyewitness accounts as evidence, they would make a good documentary or a body to investigate, but a body may be impossible to get out of the jungle. First, it is hard to travel through the Amazon rainforest, not to mention with an 80-foot long, several ton body. Photographic evidence may be the only one possible. Up until the late 1940s, there was no photographic evidence for the Sucuro, but that came to a halt in 1948. The Diario, the newspaper of Parabuku in Brazil, of January 24, 1948, published a picture with the headline Anaconda weighing 5 tons. The picture shows a part of a giant anaconda that was caught by a band of Indian half-breeds. It was engaged in a siesta near a river with a bull half-swallowed. The Indians tied a rope to its neck and tied the other end to a tree. The anaconda measured 131 feet long. Four months later, a newspaper in Rio called A Noiche Illustrata published a photograph of an anaconda slaughtered by the militia. Its length totaled 115 feet. Herpetologists accept neither photographs nor other evidence as good evidence for the larger than normal anaconda, for which they accept a length of 35 feet. Unfortunately, the first photograph offers almost nothing for scale except a hut in the background, so it is easily dismissed as a normal-sized anaconda ingesting nothing more than a capybar, which is native to the area. Then much more limpid evidence was produced in 1959. Colonel René Van Leerde was piloting his helicopter over the Katanga province of the Belgian Congo. Suddenly a gigantic snake reared up as if to attack his helicopter. 
he lifted up and took several photos of the snake and continued his journey. His estimate of the size of the snake was about 40 to 50 feet, and that is the same estimation made by zoologists who later examined the photo. Even still, the largest scientifically measured snake was a 32-foot-long reticulated python killed in Indonesia as the world's longest snake. Until one of these magnificent creatures is brought in, dead or alive, the Sakura will always be known as a cryptid.